they got the new convention center that's planned and they just got to get it built. Oh. Should have rebuilt that and should have rebuilt them all. Yeah. I know. Emily's trying to, Valerie's trying to talk me into taking her to see uh, In This Moment up at the Oh, yeah, yeah. I might go to that song. Yeah. It's a different guy book. <laughs> Hey guys, this is your favorite DM, Alex, coming to you live from Comic Emporium. Uh, as usual, I'm running just a little behind, but that's because we're always busy on Fridays. So uh, let's jump right into it. First things first, we got a lot of new stuff that came in this week. Uh, first thing we've got is the Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Adventuring Party Starter. Uh, it's a collection of minis here. Uh, it's got uh, Dragonborn, uh, looks like uh, some... Uh, gnomes, a uh, ranger, it uh, looks like a naga of some kind. But anyways, yeah, uh, a Yanti, yeah, Yanti. And uh, so anyways, yeah, we got uh, a couple of these. Uh, to go along with it, we also got the um, Lolf the Spider Queen mini, which um, I've, I've said this before, I hate how they package these things because it makes it really difficult to be able to actually show them off. So you have to come in and take a look. But it's got a really cool sculpt, a lot of detail involved. Uh, so if you were looking for a lolf, uh, you can pick those up now. And um, yeah, so we've got minis uh, on the way. Uh, our dice stock is like almost wiped out. Uh, we've got some speckled dice coming in, but uh, next week we'll try to get some more in. Uh, so yeah, sorry about that. It's just we've had a run on dice lately. And we are working on it. Uh, we're trying to uh, get the shelves full. So uh, we got new binders uh, for uh, whatever you're trying to collect. Uh, we've got a bunch of nine pocket binders in yesterday and some new deck boxes. And we've got some more of the Satin Tower deck, bo deck boxes, which I expect to be here this afternoon. Uh, so just, yeah, just check back in with me and I'll let you guys know. Uh, now, going on to the new stuff that hit the shelf today. Um, so there's Pokemon stuff that came out. Um, we've got the uh, second printing of the Darkness Ablaze ETBs. Uh, we've got a couple of these in. We also picked up some more Brilliant Stars ETBs. And we have the uh, Celebrations Pikachu V Union boxes. So if you were looking for Celebrations still, we've got some of those in as well. Uh, the new... Uh, Battle Academy is out. Uh, so this comes with a bunch of, it's three complete Pokemon decks, plus everything you need to learn how to play the game. Uh, it's kind of like those Sun and Moon trainer kits, except this has a lot more in it. And it has some exclusive cards that you can only get by buying the Battle Academy box. You can't get them out of booster packs or anything like that. So for our collectors out there, this is something to pick up just so you can get those exclusive cards. Next is the Pikachu V-Box, which um, I've had some people who've been calling and asking about it. Yes, I have them. Uh, I don't have many. I've got uh, five left. So uh, if you're wanting to pick these up today, you need to come right on in and get them uh, before this evening. Uh, otherwise, we're going to be out, I promise you. Um, so yeah, so there's uh, the new Pokemon stuff. Now, um, tomorrow is going to be our Doctor Who trivia. So for all of our uh, Whovians out there, uh, or anybody who just likes Doctor Who and you may not know all the answers, but you just want to come and hang out and talk about Doctor Who, uh, that's going to be starting at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Um, goes until about 3 o'clock. And, of course, I'll live stream it for everybody who can't make it so you guys can actually just watch and uh, play along. Uh, but if you come in and participate, uh, whoever gets the most right answers gets a gift card uh, for Comic Emporium to buy some cool stuff. So, again, that's going to be tomorrow, Doctor Who trivia at 2 p.m. And then, let's see, oh, um, other events that are coming up. So the intro to D&D was last week, and we did really well with that. We're going to continue to run it um, on the third Saturday of every month. So next month, it'll be April 16th. Again, it's a free event just to learn how to play Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. So if you want to learn how to play, or if you have friends that want to learn how to play, all they got to do is show up. If they've got their own dice, bring it with them. Otherwise, we provide everything for them to play. For those of you who cannot make it on a Saturday, and there's some of you who can't, because I know you work and it's kind of, you know, it's from noon until four and that's an odd hour for some people, you know. Uh, so what we've done is anybody who wants to get together and do an intro during the week, all you got to do is contact me. Let me know. Uh, right now we have three people signed up for um, an intro on either a Monday or a Tuesday afternoon. Um, so, uh, you know, we need at least four people to run an intro. So if you guys want to get in touch with me, just let me know. 
and uh, we'll schedule it for you so you can come in on a, on a Monday or a Tuesday afternoon and learn how to play 5th edition. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's coming up. Um, and then the first Sunday of every month is going to be continue to be board game evening. Uh, starts at 3 p.m., goes until about 6, maybe 7, depending on uh, how long the games run. This coming board game night, I'm actually going to be demoing uh, two different games. One of them is called Dungeon Drop, and I'll go into more detail on that. Uh, but it's a very cool new system uh, that where you simply drop dice and gems and things onto a map. And that makes the dungeon. And then you kind of go around and collect uh, the uh, the treasure and kill the monsters and get back out of the dungeon. It's really neat. It means every time you play, it's a new game for you. Um, so that's going to be uh, coming up. Uh, speaking of board games, we got a new one in called I Would Kill Hitler. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this is a party game of uh, hilarious hypotheticals. Basically, they they pose a situation to you. And then you have to come up with a weird, wild, wonky sort of uh, what would you do uh, answer to the, that uh, hypothetical question. Uh, you know, it says be brave, be spontaneous. You have 60 seconds to answer it. And um, then uh, you basically, uh, you'll have <laughs> uh, it's a, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, you vote and whoever wins with the best answer is kind of like, um apples to apples or uh cards against humanity where uh you know you have one person who's gonna pick and say like you know okay this was the best answer to this and so uh first person to win five rounds wins um very cool uh you play it with uh three to eight players it takes about 30 minutes uh to play so that's uh on the shelf now and one of the cool comics that came in i talked about this um with some people here and i put it up as our fanboys pick uh, because first off, I'm a massive Power Rangers fan. I've been a fan since they first came out. Uh, you know, Green Ranger, White Ranger. I have my picture taken uh, with some of them. I've met some of them. Really cool, really nice people. Um, so this week, IDW and Boom Comics put together a uh, a really cool thing. It's called Godzilla versus the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That's right. If you've ever had that question of who would win. And uh, a fight between Godzilla and, like, you know, Dragonzord. Uh, this comic is going to be going on all about it. So this is the very first issue of it. Um, so if you have not picked this up yet, you need to come get it. If you want to get started on this, let me know, and I'll add it to your pulls, or I'll start pulls for you just so you can get this comic. Um, yes, it's all about Rita Repulsa uh, bringing Godzilla back to life, or awakening Godzilla, and then the Power Rangers have to fight Godzilla. Super fun, super cool. Definitely don't miss this issue. Uh, oh, and so I was saying we got some new deck boxes. Uh, we have the Smart Hive uh, boxes back in stock. I've only got six of these, but I've got them in um, three different colors. I got purple, teal, and black. Uh, these are like the uh, be all end all uh, collector box. Like if you've got, it carries your deck, it carries your dice, your counters, your minis, everything. Um, they're really, really handy, really lightweight, and really well done. Um, they're ultimate guards, so like they're super, super durable. Um, so that, yeah, those are those are back on the shelf. And what else have I got? I think that's everything as far as card games and everything else. Yeah. So uh, some cool stuff. I've only got a minute and a half left here. I'm going to try to run through this. Some cool stuff that's coming up. Uh, if you're not familiar and you haven't heard me ranting about it for a year. We've got the Moon Knight series coming uh, at the end of this month. Uh, it's only going to be six episodes, but uh, I can't wait for this. So be ready to listen to me just go on and on about how great or how terrible it was. Uh, and um, the uh, Halo new series uh, on Paramount uh, just dropped its first episode yesterday. It was very, very good. My only complaint, no spoilers here, is uh, when Master Chief takes off his helmet. Uh, that's it. That was my only complaint. Everything else about the the uh, Halo show uh, has was just well, it was just great. It was just really, really great. Um, so I highly recommend you go watch that, and I highly recommend uh, everybody watch Moon Knight and come talk to me about it. I'm very excited. Uh, I am running out of time, so I'm gonna cut it here guys uh it is awesome to continue to be here for you uh i look forward to talking to you guys i look forward to hanging out with you guys so uh, i will see you later on again this is your dm alex coming to you live from comic conforium and i will see you hopefully later this afternoon